In this refreshment video, we will learn how to solve circuits that is full of series and parallel connections. At the end of this video, we will be able to solve this example. If you like this type of videos, leave a comment to let us know in the comments section down below. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. First of all, we have to know what is a series, parallel and compound connections. We will have two series electrical elements if we have only point in common. Also this common point must not be connected to any other element. So in these examples, this is a series connection. This isn't a series connection because we have a current carrying element here. At last, we can't consider this as a series connection because the common point are connected to an element. To calculate the total resistance, just add the resistances of each resistor together. The second type of connections is the parallel connection. Two elements are in parallel if they share the same nodes. To calculate the total resistance for two parallel resistances, just follow this formula. Our total will equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. If they have the same resistance value, our total will be R over 2. In case of more than two parallel resistances, just follow the general formula. 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and so on. If the resistors have the same value, just divide R over number of resistors. For example, 1 over R total will equal to 1 over 30 plus 1 over 30 plus 1 over 30. Or R total will equal to 30 over their number, which is 3. So the value will equal to 10 ohm. Compound connection is consists of series and parallel connections together. Here to get the total resistance, just simplify the circuit by dividing it into series and parallel connections. So in our example, those two resistors are in parallel. So our total for those two resistors will equal to 10 times 10 over 10 plus 10 or 10 over 2 which will equal to 5 ohm now we have two series resistors 5 plus 5 will equal to 10 ohm here we have two series resistors 15 plus 15 will equal to 30 ohm here 5 plus 5 will equal to 10 ohm parallel to 10 ohm that will equal to 5 ohm 5 ohm series to 25 ohm will equal to 30 ohm. Now we have 30 parallel to 30 parallel to 30. So 30 over the number which is 3 will equal to 10 ohm. Here 10 ohm parallel to 10 ohm will equal to 10 over 2 which is 5 ohm. 5 ohm series to 5 ohm and 30 ohm will equal to 40 ohm. Here we have 20 ohm series to 20 ohm, which will equal to 40 ohm. Here 3 30 ohm resistors are in parallel. So 30 parallel to 30 parallel to 30, which will equal to 10 ohm. 10 ohm is in series with 30 ohm. So we have here 40 ohm. Now 40 parallel to 40 parallel to 40 will equal to 40 over 3. Now our circuit becomes so simple. Four resistors are in series. 20 plus 40 over 3 plus 10 plus 10, which will equal to 53.33 ohm. To calculate the total current that comes out from the power supply, just apply Ohm's law. The current will equal to 200 volt over 53.33 ohm, which will equal to 3.75 amps. 
In the next video we will learn how to solve complex circuit with star and delta connections. You can join our course on Udemy, the ultimate DC electrical circuits course to discover electrical engineering world by creating and simulating DC electrical circuits, also master solving complex circuits. Just hit the link in the description down below to have a coupon that will enable you to join the course with a great discount. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.